Good evening, everybody. Mahaba, Hosh Galdanez. I'm going to begin by doing a disclaimer for my Turkish accent tonight. My name is Gwen Talbert, and I'm a weather anchor reporter over at WTTG Fox 5 and a professional speaker. And I am honored and delighted to be here tonight to share this evening with you. And I hope you're going to enjoy it because we have a very entertaining and informative evening ahead for you. So welcome to the fourth annual Turek American Convention. And did you notice all the beautiful uh, cultural dressed uh, people that were outside and the wonderful pictures and the models that were out there in the lobby area? Did you see that? Let's give them a round of applause. How beautiful was that to start our evening tonight? We have some great entertainment for you that is actually going to be an example of the very rich culture and you're going to hear some great remarks as well from some of our guests. And I know that you're all excited to be here just as we are. Some of you are seeing friends from long ago, some of you are seeing neighbors, some colleagues, uh, some of you are seeing people you haven't seen in a while. But regardless, we are all here over the course of today and tomorrow for this entire convention for a really great exchange. And we invite you to embrace it, to enjoy it, and to experience it. Because we are going to take you on a journey. The good thing about our journey is you don't have to worry about paying any checked baggage fees or anything like that. You don't have to worry about any airport security. You're just going to be able to enjoy a wonderful journey and a wonderful experience and we ask you to come with us on this wonderful ride that we are going to take you on. And our journey is the Silk Road. Now it's an ancient trade route that is connected to what is now China all the way to Europe. It dates back to the second century BCE, and it was a critical route not only for physical goods, but also what's very important to part of the reason we are all here tonight, for cultural goods. And it developed civilizations in a very interconnected way. And the time right now is what is considered ripe for a reimagination of the Silk Road. While historical contexts have certainly changed, the heart of the matter has not. And that is linking cultures and peoples together in a way to foster mutually beneficial trade, business, and friendship. And while much work remains to be done with respect to achieving this goal, it goes without saying that this evening, here with all of you, you are going to be an important part of making this dream a reality you're going to become a part of history. And that is to extend its breath as far as the American continent, an unprecedented feat. So I'm going to ask you now to be a little vain. Pat yourself on the back and give yourselves a round of applause for being part of something so special and so meaningful. Go ahead, clap for yourselves. I'm going to give myself applause because I'm not forecasting snow this weekend for you. Well, before this evening's journey along the Silk Road begins, I'd like to thank the convention sponsors, Ipikyolu Business Chamber from Azerbaijan. I got that one right. In addition to today's Zaman and Turkish review, I would also like to thank the convention organizers, the Turek American Alliance, the Rethink Institute, Tuzcon, and the Tariq American Chamber of Commerce. The six TAA member federations and councils, the co-organizers, GIA, Association of Lo Young Entrepreneurs, Kyrgyzstan, Katiyad Association of Businessmen of Kazakhstan, and Turkey, Kazakhstan. Tatsiad, Tajik Turkish Industry and Business Chamber, Tajikistan. And also, Tusiab Azerbaijan, International Society of Turkish Industrialists and Businessmen. Uh, Turkish, I'm sorry, Turkish in, uh, Industrialists and Businessmen, Azerbaijan. The Turkic American Alliance, by the way, is one of the partners in organizing tonight's event. How is that reception out there so far? Are we off to a good start? I think so. 
The Alliance, by the way, is the largest national Tariq organization in the United States. It represents six regional federations. It was established in 2010 as an independent nonprofit umbrella organization. 2010. That means it's really young and just a bit of a baby, isn't it? But this baby has had an incredible growth spurt because with over 240 community associations now, cultural centers, business associations, education, institutions, and private schools, look how it has grown. All of you are part of that. The Tariq American Alliance functions as a powerful advocate for dialogue, not only among the Tariq American community and the American public in general, but also the Tariq states and the United States of America. It connects and it coordinates all the activities of its member organizations and articulates, represents, and promotes the interest of the Tariq American community on the national level. So I would like to invite the current proud father of this growing baby, this growing organization that we are here for as a result tonight, and one man whose Turkish accent is a lot better than mine. Put your hands together for Dr. Farik Tuban, President of the Tariq American Alliance. Thank you, Gwen. That was a nice introduction. So you pretty much covered the whole thing that I'm going to be covering. But uh, I would like to echo the Gwen's uh, all good words. So by the way, uh, she has a really good pronunciation, by the way. I appreciate it. So I'm going to just uh, uh, acknowledge uh, some of the uh, dignitaries here, uh, especially from Turkey. We have a uh, uh, main opposition party uh, representative here. Uh, Ms. Sedef Küçük, Mr. Engin Özkoç, and Mr. Muslim Sarı, representing the CHP. And as an independent parliamentarian, we have Hakan Şükür with us. <laughs> so you may recognize Hakan Şükür as a pro soccer player uh, over here. So don't forget to take a picture with him before you leave. So and I have some uh, dignitaries with us also. We'd like to some. Uh, Invite them over here for a short uh, remark be before the program starts. So we have, uh, we earlier, we had the Senator Bob Menendez with us. Uh, he unfortunately left. And we had uh, uh, the Senator uh, Joe Donnelly from Indiana with us. And uh, right now we have uh, Congressman Robin Kelly, uh, Congressman Brett Schneider, Congressman Andy Harris, I think he left, I believe. And uh, Henry Cuellar here with us. Uh, and Steve Shabbat, and uh, Dan Lipinski, Congressman Dan Lipinski, Congressman Scott Perry, and the Congressman Al Green, and the uh, Congressman Dakim Jeffries, and is did I say Scott Perry? Yes. Uh, so I'd like to also thank the uh, sponsors that Gwen said, the, our main sponsor, Pekyolu, uh, organ, the, the Chamber of Commerce from Azerbaijan, and the, uh, the and the Tuscon also partner and the sponsor for this uh, great event, uh, Razan Nurbe, the president, and the whole Tuscon delegation, I'd like to appreciate for their support in Azerbaijan, also in Veruzeren, the, uh, the chairman of the CHA uh, education institution. And also appreciate the, the huge Kyrgyz delegation. They always uh, uh, honor us every year that convention, so I really appreciate the, for their support and the continuation of uh, their uh, coming to our convention and the Kazakh delegation and also media representative from Turkey. We had very distinguished members, uh, media members with us. And we have Tajik delegation also and the sponsors. We have some representative from the Turkish uh, Review and the Today's Zaman. I really appreciate for uh, their uh, support and the, uh, to make that happen for this great event. We just started the convention, so as you know, it's growing every year. And uh, we started with the Potomac River cruise last time. So we are here at the Mellon Auditorium, so one of the famous uh, auditorium in Washington, D.C. And this is the official start of 
cherry blossom days, so we are really lucky after all rainy and snow days. And uh, just to close and start our program, I would like to get your attention a brief post-convention video from the last year to see what lays in store for you tomorrow. So hope to see you then. Enjoy. That's just a small example of the excitement that we know you're going to experience at this convention over the next day or so. So I'm really happy you're here. And I know you're happy you're here, right? All right. At this point in time, we would like to ask any members of Congress that are here in our audience visiting with us, with us tonight to please uh, come around to this side and come up on the stage. Any members of Congress, thank you. We're very honored and proud that they could join us tonight, and I know that we want to share some of uh, them with you tonight, not only physically, but uh, asking them to at least say a few words to you. Good evening. I'm uh, Congressman Dan Lipinski from the great state of Illinois. Very happy to be with you here today. I think you want to cheer for, uh, cheer for Illinois. Great to be with you here today, as I always come to enjoy part of the, uh, of the convention. Uh, it has been a great relationship that I have developed. Some of my good friends here I, I see in, uh, in the audience. Uh, I've had the opportunity had the opportunity th about three years ago to visit Turkey. Had the most wonderful time, my wife and I, seeing the places, the food. We're, we're still enjoying our Turkish spices, but especially the people in Turkey. So I'm very happy to, uh, to be here tonight, and congratulations on having representatives, all of you here together, representatives from all of the Turkic nations here this evening for this convention, but I'm very glad to be with you. It's very important that we continue to grow and develop this relationship, especially in these very difficult times, especially in Turkey's part of the world. It's important that we grow stronger this relationship for the stability, not just of our countries, but of the world, and you are serving a very great role in helping to do that. So it's good to be with you. And I'll be very brief. I'm Congressman Steve Shabbat, the former chairman of the Middle East Subcommittee, now chairman of the Asian Pacific Subcommittee of Foreign Affairs. And I liked the way that uh, Congressman uh, Jim Moran of Virginia stated that uh, Turkey, he thought, was placed in the center of the world because it can be a key link between the East and the West. And that's the role that I think Turkey plays amongst many other things. So I am pleased to, uh, uh, to urge Turkey to play a leadership role uh, in the world because it is a key nation and the relationship between the United States and Turkey is uh, critically important. So thank you for playing that role and I uh, look forward to uh, working with you. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Brad Schneider. I re represent the 10th District of Illinois, which are the northern suburbs of Chicago. And I am incredibly honored to count among my constituents, among my friends, many members of the Turkic community, uh, the Turkic American community. I consider what is said before, the idea that the Turkish nations, the Turkish people, have a role to play in leadership, in leading the world, in helping us find better security, better opportunities, opportunities for energy, opportunities for peace. It is a privilege to be here. I am proud to work with you, and I look forward to working together for many years to come. Thank you very much. Good evening. My name is Robin Kelly. I, too, am from Illinois. I'm from the 2nd Congressional District, which is Chicago, or the south side of Chicago, and the southern suburbs and some of the rural areas. I'm very honored to be before you. I hope you have a very fruitful convention, and I look forward to building my relationship with you personally, and I also look forward to visiting some of your countries, because I've never been there, so I'm coming. So take care. Have a great convention.
Before we continue, um, some of our members of Congress have some pressing issues and they have to go. So we'd like to take our group photo so we don't lose everybody and then we'll continue. Is that okay with you? Perfect. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. We'll get our president to come up. We'd like to ask the Turkish Federation presidents to come up and be part of this photograph. Thank you. And also the sponsors. We're going to do this right away. Which way? Thank you everyone for your patience with this, but this is what we call the priceless opportunity for the photo op. Gentlemen, sit down, please. Yeah, Can we please have some gentlemen sit down? <laughs> Don't forget to say cheese and just pretend you're smiling because it's sunny and not snowing. Thank you so much, and we'll like to uh, continue. Okay. We'd like to continue with the remarks from our members of Congress because we do appreciate them coming here, and we know that they are uh, definitely have some great words for us. We have our ladies come forward. There you go. Good evening, everyone. It's um, I'm very, very much honored to be here with all of you this evening. My name is Julia Bromley. Uh, I represent the 26th dist Congressional District in Southern California, and it is a privilege to do so. I have, I'm not sure that I can add more than what has already been said, but as a new member of Congress, I have not yet had the opportunity uh, to visit Turkey, but I will look forward to that opportunity. But I do understand the importance of the relationship between America and Turkey and how valuable that relationship is and, and the value that the country that you all represent, Turkey, and its value in the part of the world that it's in. Um, we all believe, obviously, and the strong tenets of democracy. Uh, we want to maintain our democracy uh, in Turkey as well, and the partnership is, is critical to that. So it's a great uh, pleasure for me to be with you all today, and again, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful conference. Hello everyone, I'm Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez. I get to represent Orange County, California, so if any of you want to go to Disneyland. <laughs> the original Disneyland is there. We dream big, we think big, and that's why we love Turkey. Um, 
We love Turkey for a lot of reasons. First of all, I'm so grateful to the organizers of this conference, many of whom are in Orange County, are from our delegation, let's say, or are, are Turkish Americans, because it enables um, those parliamentarians from other countries to come and to get to know us and to get to work with us. And I'm always excited about making those connections. I sit as a senior member for the Democrats on the Armed Services Committee and also on Homeland Security. I do war and terror all day long. And I want to thank you also because I know with the Syrian situation going on, there are so many who have gone into Turkey in the refugee camps. And I know that that puts a big strain on families, on the economy, on pe the people of Turkey. So we thank you for helping in those humanitarian ways. And lastly, we thank you for the strong military relationships that we have with Turkey. And I know many of you work on that, both, both Turkish Americans who are here working with us and helping us to understand, and the parliamentarians that are coming, uh, not only from Turkey, but the surrounding countries where uh, you have the people of, of Turkmen descent. So thank you very much for working with us. We look forward to making these relationships even stronger. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Hakeem Jeffries. It's my honor and my privilege uh, to represent the people of the 8th Congressional District in Brooklyn. Uh, now at home, it never fails. Brooklyn is always in the house. But I'm thankful uh, for a wonderfully diverse district that I represent, which includes uh, a significantly uh, robust community of Turkish Americans and the Turkic American uh, community. I represent the largest Turkish American school uh, in the United States of America, the Amity School, which does a tremendous job of educating a wide range uh, of students. And the Turkic community in Brooklyn, part of the gorgeous mosaic that we have uh, back at home in New York City, is hardworking, entrepreneurial, family uh, oriented, and spiritually based. It's an honor and a privilege to serve the Turkic community at home. It's an honor and a privilege to work closely with leaders such as yourself from all across the country and all across the world uh, who understand and recognize the tremendous political and uh, economic, social, cultural significance of the continued relationship between uh, the United States of America and the Turkic nations of the world. Congratulations uh, on the wonderful start to what I know will be a tremendous conference. God bless you. Henry Quayad, I represent uh, part of the state of Texas, San Antonio down to my hometown of Laredo, Texas. Uh, it is a pleasure being here with you and I wish you uh, the best at this convention, and I wish that you establish the great networks, uh, making sure that you understand that this relationship between the United States and Turkey is very important. When you think about Turkey, you have to think about it not only in historic terms, but the embodiment of two great civilizations, the East, West, and the mixture of uh, not only language, culture, religion, and created a great place called Turkey. Nowadays, of course, in modern times, we think about Turkey, the importance of Turkey, uh, not only the strategic importance of the United States, whether it's the military, whether it's energy, it is an area that's very, very, very important to the United States. I've been to Turkey, and I intend to be there in a very new uh, future, and I hope I get to see my good friend Kamel over here and Furkan over here when I'm back in Turkey very, very soon. And again, uh, in the state of Texas, we appreciate the Harmony School, uh, the Harmony Schools uh, in the uh, state of Texas have done a great job at educating uh, the schools, I mean the kids, whether it's in San Antonio or Laredo, Texas, we really appreciate what the Harmony Schools have done. So to all of y'all, thank you so much. And again, welcome to Washington, D.C. And uh, where's the, uh, the parliament member that plays a little bit of, uh, of soccer? Where, I know he's, uh, there you are, yeah. You know, I was standing next to you, then I saw Furkan over here stand up, and I just felt that I was so small 
with the Giants. I appreciate uh, what you did for the game of soccer uh, across the world. We thank you so much, but we appreciate the work that you're doing as a member of parliament. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you so much. Mayor Habal. I believe that we should give a special expression of appreciation to the lady who started the program, who's kept the program moving, who's done an outstanding job. Let's give Gwen a big expression of appreciation. Isn't she lovely and brilliant? I am honored, dear friends, to say that I stand before you as a member of Congress because the members of my Turkish community in Houston, Texas, supported me, worked with me, and as a result, I'm here with you. Would you give my community a big expression of appreciation, Kamal? And I am also privileged to say that the largest Turkish center outside of Turkey is in Houston, Texas, in my 9th Congressional District. <laughs> Finally, partnerships are great, relationships are good, but friendship is better. Friendship is better. And what we are doing here today is a continuation of a genesis of a friendship that started some years ago. It's a friendship that will endure notwithstanding the ups and downs of politics, notwithstanding the ins and outs of business relationships. A friendship will keep us together when all other things seem to be tearing us apart. So let us not ever forget that we must continue to extend the hand of friendship to each other so that we may forever be able to help each other bring peace to a world in need of such tranquility. God bless you. Merhaba. I want to thank, begin by thanking the Turkic American Coalition and my friend Said for the uh, gracious welcome and invitation to be here with you. Turkey provides leadership. The world needs leadership, and Turkey embodies that in the world today. And of course, the leadership that the American, uh, that Americans and America, the United States, recognizes. We love you for your business practices, for your eye towards freedom and free markets. We look forward to partnering with you in the future, continuing that relationship and making it better and stronger and more vibrant every single year. God bless you. Welcome to Washington, D.C. Good evening, Mike Fitzpatrick. I represent the 8th Congressional District of Pennsylvania. I want to thank my friend Ghazi Adesev, and he always makes sure that I'm, I'm able to attend, and all of you for, uh, for inviting us. You've certainly chosen one of the most beautiful buildings in the nation's capital for your convention. And as I was thinking about how gorgeous the room is, a couple of years ago, uh, Henry Cuellar just spoke. Henry and I had the opportunity to visit Turkey, um, to meet with governmental leaders and business leaders. And one night we were looking across the Bosphorus River, commenting, on how beautiful is your geography, your history, your culture, and your people. And as was commented earlier, Representative uh, Jim Moran, he talked about strategically where you were placed in literally the center of the world as we know it, and the leadership requirement and obligation that goes along with that. I represent the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, founded by William Penn, who came to the New World in search of creating a place where people of different faiths and different backgrounds and different cultures could come together and live in peace and in harmony. And I think we as Pennsylvanians with the Turkic nations, we share much in common. And I just wanted to comment on, as, uh, as Representative Green just talked about, that friendship that is so important because the friendship endures when other things are pulling us apart. So keep up the great work. Thanks for coming to the nation's capital. Thanks for always inviting the members of Congress to join with you. We are your friends. We look forward to working with you. Have a great convention. Good evening. My name is Steve Stivers. I represent Ohio's 15th district uh, between Columbus and Cincinnati in southern Ohio. And uh, we have a thriving Turkish community in Columbus, Ohio, in my district. And uh, it's an honor to uh, work with them and represent them, and an honor to represent uh, the people of Ohio in Congress. Uh, 
The relationship that America has with Turkey is a very important relationship. It's played out on energy, the economy, the military. I've been in the Army National Guard 28 years. Uh, we have a very important strategic relationship with your country and your people. But most importantly, we have a great friendship. I want to thank you for including all of us and say good luck on your convention. God bless you and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. What wonderful words we've had from people who are re representing us in Congress. They've taken the time to come here tonight to embrace, to enrich, and to be part of this journey. Let's give them all a wonderful round of applause. We are now going to start part of the entertainment portion of our evening for you. And our first performer is Aiden Scheyer, who is a calligrapher. And he is going to do a demonstration for you. He's from Turkey, from Istanbul. And he has been interested in the art of classical calligraphy since his high school years. The interest soon transformed into include the Latin alphabet, and he has displayed his art in Germany, Switzerland, Singapore, Japan, Romania, and the United States. And he has represented Turkey in several art and cultural festivals worldwide. I met him when I was sitting outside, and he did an incredible piece of art with my name. And I'm from Canada, so now he can add that to his repertoire. We've really made him international. Let's now ask him to join us and take a look at his amazing talent. Please give him a round of applause.
is something missing in here? I'm gonna add just uh, four letters, but everything will change. Is that true? <laughs> uh, this is the final calligraphy about after friendship. Treasure. If I had the kind of penmanship you had, I think I would have got A's in school. <laughs> Excellent. Let's give him a round of applause. We're going to continue with our program, um, but we've just had a new guest walk in that I'd like to acknowledge. Please put your hands together and welcome our representative of Congress, Sheila Jackson Lee, from Texas. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Wow, was that magnificent. I need to get a copy of what was just done. Treasure and Friendship, what a beautiful exhibition of the friendship between the United States uh, and this great Turkic American convention that represents the Turkish world and our friendship with that world. It's my pleasure to be able to acknowledge our member of parliament from Turkey, thank you so very much. 
Uh, I want you to know that at the RFK Stadium, they're playing soccer right now, so I may take you and we'll just go out and play some soccer. But my friends, I want to remind you as I offer these uh, words of welcome that we will always have with, that, with the region a strategic and friendly relationship. For we are a believer as a member of the United States Congress in the service and commitment and dedication that Turkey has had as a friend to us as a NATO ally and in helping the United States and her troops during her time of need. Now we have greater opportunities for cultural exchange, educational exchange, friendship between our students, uh, to be able to really build a long-lasting friendship, one where we understand each other's culture. And to be frank with you, one where the times are tough, we can stand alongside of each other and continue our friendship and face the world to promote democracy, security, and friendship. I look forward to that, and I'm grateful for the Turkic American Convention that brings all aspects of the region together, making a difference, making it better, and continuing our friendship. Again, have a wonderful convention. I welcome you, I welcome you, I welcome you. Thank you so much for those kind words. We are now going to continue with our entertainment. And our next performer is Batur Odeyev, who is going to play the Dutar. And he is from Turkmenistan. Thank you so much. This, another example of the, the beautiful culture that we are experiencing here tonight. And we still have another day of that, so it's going to be great. I would now like to welcome a uh, vocalist who's going to do two songs for us, Karina Alkojo from Kazakhstan.
шығарымын Атамекен туған ел Дидарың ақымарымын Жұлғызың болып жыларымын Жасының болып сынарымын Құшағың жай сұралығым Жаннарыңнан тайғада Жүрегіңе құларымын Wasn't that beautiful? Wasn't that? Just a small example, everyone, of the wonderful culture and talent that this community has. And we're going to continue with some of that for you. We're now going to welcome Salamat, Salamat Savakova, who's a singer from Kyrgyzstan. Жылду кезде жайлайды, 
ömürlür kanca kim bilir? Sizler için daha bir Kırgız'dan Eldigirlerinden, halk şarkılarından Gülgün Jash degen şarkı. Bu şarkının sözünü yazgan bizden şehirci babamız Toktoğul Satılganov. <gülüyor> Teşekkür ederim.
That was beautiful. And those notes, the way that she can hold those notes, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. Let's give her another round of applause. Our next performer, Maestrio Jehun, who's going to give us a live performance. And he is from Azerbaijan. Teşekkürler. Akşamınız hayır olsun aziz dostlarımız. Hamınızı böyle bir güzel günde görmeme çok şadam ve Azerbaycan'dan hamınıza çoklu çoklu salam getirmişim. Good evening our dear guest. I am happy to see you and this many many improvisation is special for you. Yayın için nüşeliyim. Biz de sizleri feyziye bedek. <gülüyor> Sırada çok sevdiğim Türk sanat müziğinden gelir. Yaygın ki hep beraber okuyacağız. Çünkü Hamımızın dostlarımız çoktu, dostlarımız buradadı, Türkiye'dedi, Azerbaycan'dadı, dünyadadı ve dostlarımız uzakta olmasına bakmayarak biz onları üreyle seviriyor her zaman ve sırada şimdi uzaklardasın gelir dostlarımız için.
Ayaklardasın Hep beraber Gönül Hicranla Doldu Şimdi Uzaklardasın Gönül Hicranla doldu Hiç ayrılamam derken Kavuşmak hayal oldu Ayrılamam derken Kavuşmak hayal oldu Sevda bahçelerini Çiçekleri hep Soldu Çiçekleri Hep soldu Hiç Ayrılamam Derken Kavuşma Hayal oldu Hiç ayrılamam derken Kavuşmak Hayal oldu
Every toe was tapping, every head was bobbing, and everyone was smiling. Wonderful music. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're moving right along. We have another performer for you. We'd like to bring out Nestle Han from Turkey to perform. While um, they're getting ready to set up, how have you enjoyed the program so far tonight? How's it been? Isn't that wonderful? We've had a great variety of entertainment here. We had wonderful speakers here. Everybody is just embracing what this is all about, and that's what's so important. So as we move through into the course of tomorrow, and you start attending all the sessions, and we have the luncheon, and we have the breakfast and everything, just think about that. Remember, as I mentioned earlier, we're going on a journey together. And it's a very important and powerful one. But it's an embracing one when it comes to culture. And as was mentioned earlier by one of the Congress people, we talked about the friendship and the alliance. And that's what's important. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Are you all ready and happy that you're on the Silk Road? Thank you. We'll start our music momentarily. Havasına, suyuna, taşına, toprağına Bin can feda bir tek dostuma Her köşesi cennetim, ezilir yanar içim Bir başkadır benim memleketim Köşesi cennetim Ezilir yanar içim Bir başkadır benim memleketim Hey, hey Lay, lay, lay, lay, lay Raise your hand Lay, lay, lay, lay Lay, lay, lay, lay, lay, lay, lay, lay Yes, together Havasına, suyuna, taşına, toprağına Bin can feda bir tek dostuma Her köşesi cennetim Ezilir yanar içim Bir başkadır benim This is my first performance in Turkey, and I am very excited tonight. I will not only my songs say, but also very famous singer. For example, maybe you know his name, Barış Manço. Yeah, okay.
이토록 세리 전배된된 지금만 자 모두 바퀴 뜨니요 허니 내래 나와 오늘의 저는 맨나스 우노토록 세리 전배된된 지금만 자 Thank you, and the last part is maybe... Another round of applause. What talent we have here tonight. Isn't this beautiful? Wonderful? 
I feel like I want to go dancing. I feel wanna, I want to learn that, that dance dip that you were doing there, you know, and uh, just embrace it. It was absolutely amazing. We are now going to ask one of our sponsors to come forward, Rashid Chulagolf, chairman of the Silk Road Business Association of Azerbaijan. Hürmetli hanımlar ve canavlar, hürmetli milletvekilimiz, hürmetli bütün Türk halklarının aziz ve değerli numayandaları. Evvela söze başlarken Türkiye Amerikan Aliyansı'nın bütün kollektivi ve başta hürmetli Faruk Bey'in böyle güzel bir meclise imza attığı için teşekkürümüzü bildiririk. <coughs> Bu ikinci tedbirdir ki biz, ben şahsen özüm iştirak edelim. İki yıl evvel... E, İpek Yolu Festivalında biz iştirak etmiştik. Mesela yine Türk halklarının medeniyetini terörlüm eleyen bir toplantıydı. E, ve orada çok güzel ve adı da e, İpek Yolu olarak geçtiği için bizim için de büyük bir şerefti ki biz hal hazırda hemen o e, tedbiri ve sabah geçirilecek oturum olan e, İpek Yolu Değerliz'in adını taşıyırıq. Ve ben bir daha İpek Yolu sahibkarlığı iş adamları e, birliği adından aramızı salamlayıram. Bütün üzüleri adımdan salamlayıram ve bizim için büyük bir şerefti ki biz bugün böyle bir güzel e, meclisin ve sponsoruyuz ve ben ümit ederim ve kıskançlığımı da bildirmek istiyorum ki e, her zaman Türkiye Amerika Aliyansı'nın yanında tuz konu gördük. Bundan sonra inşallah İpek yolunda test edip göreceksiniz. Teşekkür ederim. Sağ olun. Where would we be without sponsorship? We know how important that is, right? It allows us to be able to have the events and do the things we need to do. So important. Thank you. I would like to now ask our president to please come back up on the stage, uh, and also all of our performers to please come back out for a, a second. We have a little token of our appreciation. We have all of our performers, please. with thanks and appreciation for sharing your talent with us tonight. Thank you so much. Let's give them another round of applause and our calligrapher as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, I really hope that uh, tonight's activities have really inspired you. They've really inspired me for sure. I've really been able to open my eyes up to a whole new world that I really didn't know a lot about. And I've become very educated tonight about your culture. And I know that this is a very, very important convention for you. And so, as I'm saying, it is exciting. It's an exciting part of the future that Central Asia, Turkey, and the United States will have through the new Silk Road and all that it holds for them. We have a little bit of housekeeping before you leave. I'm going to just ask you to re and remind you that as you get ready to head out tonight to make sure that you bring your name tag back with you to the Willard Intercontinental Hotel for tomorrow's full day of activities because you'll need it uh, for, as we continue the fourth annual Turek American Convention. We'd also like to invite for a photo, photo opportunity up to the stage the distinguished ambassadors any of the honorable members of Congress that may still be here, honorable members of Parliament, the Federation presidents, the convention sponsors and organizers, and also the greeters and all their cultural dress. If you would all come up to the stage, we would like to take a group picture. And I would like you to applaud all of them because they have really made tonight special as they come up. Give them a great round of applause. If it, they've really helped to pull together tonight just as needed. And you know, there are people also here that maybe we haven't mentioned, behind the scenes, all the volunteers and the workers and the staff. I think they deserve a round of applause too, don't you?
Thank you so much. And you know what? You have made my job extremely easy tonight. So how about a round of applause for yourselves? Well, I really hope that you have a wonderful night for the rest of the evening that you enjoy it. For those of you who are not from DC, we have a beautiful, wonderful city for you to explore. And we hope to see you back here bright, well, actually at the Willard uh, tomorrow, at the Willard Continental, bright and early for breakfast, for the reception with the Ambassadors Roundtable. And I'll be there to share a coffee with you. Good night. Thank you for coming. Do you agree with me that the given uh, deserved a big uh, the round of applause also?